right, so I'm going to try to sort of demo the app here. Um, before we go over the different tabs, here in this expander menu, you can essentially choose which um, which tabs you want visible across the top. So right now I have these seven here. If I go in here and I uncheck a bunch of these, um, then I only have these two showing. Um, and so you can sort of customize um, which tabs you want to get to quickly. So this is the Noble Builder tab. In the Noble Builder, you can essentially add traits to build a noble. Um, so I can go here and add a couple traits to both sides. This top bar here will sort your traits by their, essentially their score. And the scoring system is different for each um, role here. So it'll sort for merchant based on payout and trade costs, etc. It'll do the same thing for all the different ones. Um, you can see your stat totals here by hovering over this, and then you can name your noble. Let's just do a test. And then save your noble, and now that noble has been created. If you go in here, we can see here, here's the test noble that I created. Uh, this tab is also used for editing a noble, so if I go in here and I click edit on a noble, it'll pop it into here. If you change something and you leave the name the same and you save it, then you can update a noble. So now we go back over here and standard, we'll have an extra trait there that we just added. For the nobles tab, there's a lot going on here. Um, Uh, this action bar for each noble is sort of the different actions you can take. Um, here this will load the noble into the trading tab. Um, I think mostly in here you'll be doing breeding. Um, you can either choose two nobles to simulate with and go to the nursery tab and then these will be here. You could uh, simulate making 100 babies like this and then it will show you the different uh, results that you get and then here you can also choose the gender of the nobles by clicking through here um, this won't make or break anything it'll just help if you're um, ranking all your couples the best button will um, essentially show you the best possible partner you could make. So here I'm looking at an explorer. So if I switch this to explorer, let's say grass. I want to make the best grass baby possible. Go calculate here. It would tell you um, what 10 traits you would want on like the best possible partner. If I go here, best average IT score, that will essentially, instead of maximizing the number of possible traits, it will, you'll see it switch these lower value traits for matching legendary traits. So if I click calculate again, you'll see I change these two to high payout ones. Uh, for ranked mates, that's kind of self-explanatory. This will rank everyone, all your other nobles against this one. So I click here, we're selected on captain. So we need to switch that. Let's go to Explorer. So the best um, mate for a grass explorer would be this guy. And it sort of gives you the breakdown. Uh, the number of unique traits, matching, average baby IT. Um, the average IT baby is essentially like, you can think of it as your low end score like low end and unique traits is your high end because um, um, you could potentially get 13 inherited traits and this is sort of the 
the trait you want to look for if you're trying to push your breeding, if you want to get high ITs. Uh, these uh, matching and average IT are not really as relevant. They'll sort of they'll improve your consistency. You can see if you have higher matching, you'll sort of have a higher average, which, I mean, getting a two inherited is pretty much useless. Um, so really you want to push this number of unique traits, if you can, as well as score, um, to produce higher IT babies that have a higher score. Also in here there's a share. Um, this share will, if you've set up your Discord webhooks, you can do that in tools over here, but um, if you click one of these webhooks that you've set up, it will just share this noble profile into that channel on Discord. There's here for the share to the noble marketplace, which will switch these into tools that will let you essentially upload that individual noble. Um, I don't think this is really being used by anyone currently. Um, we covered edit, delete is pretty obvious. All right, and then the one other thing on the nobles tab is you can sort things by their score here. So I'm going to sort by exploring. This will sort all the nobles based on their grass explorer um, score right now. If I change this to combat, uh, it'll sort by, you know, whichever you select a pair, it will sort by it. And then you can also compare all mates. This will do it will essentially um, test every partner, every person against every other person. Um, if you have their genders defined over here, it will restrict them. Like it's not going to match up a female with a female, but if their if their gender is not defined, it will it will still show you that result, and then it will sort of notify you that they're not sure it's a real part like pairing. Uh, so I'll show you here. So we're seeing all combinations for combat captain. So here it's comparing these two nobles together. It'll tell you their breeding score, their unique traits, this. And then here for gender, it's saying it doesn't know for sure that they're male and female. You know, So that might not be a real combination you can do because they could both be males, which they are in this case here. Um, but this will, you can do this for exploring, Let's say grass, it'll show you the best partners. And this score is sort of, it's, um, it's not the same score you're seeing here. Here you're seeing this noble score on its own. Here in compare all mates, you're seeing essentially their total score and their contribution to that total score. And the reason it's not the same as the score you see over there is because matching traits are not worth they're worth essentially half of what they would be worth because you can't inherit it twice. Uh, so the total score is essentially the number of unique traits times their score. It gives you breeding score. And then this is the breakdown between the two nobles. Um, um, and if you add a new noble in into your noble pool, you could do this to sort of see who would be the best for them. But you, I guess you could also do the, if we go to our new couple, our new noble and we click best on this oh wait no wait we do rank mates on this guy uh, we could see who would be the best mate for this guy um, and now the the score here um, is what they're being sorted by but you could potentially have a a lower score and a higher unique unique number of traits um, which might be more desirable to get a high IT versus just a high score. Um, here's a new feature. This is like the Noble Builder screen, except it will just build a Noble straight from a screenshot. So let me grab this screenshot here. I'll pause while it loads and resume. And so it. Um, pulls from the screenshot, it pulls all the traits out here, and it will try to get its name, but it's not always going to do that correctly. Um, so I'll name him Test2, 
Yep, he's an explorer. It pulled that correctly. Create this noble. And now if I go back to the nobles tab, he will be in here. So that's nice if you don't want to sit here and find all the individual traits to build up the noble. If you have the screenshot, you can just import it in there. Um, if you have a noble that's more than 6 IT, then you can take a second screenshot with the traits scrolled up. And if you choose it here, it will essentially run the same process again on the second screenshot, but it won't count any of the skills that it's already picked up from the first screenshot. Right. And the nursery, we sort of covered this already, but um, so from the noble tab, you click simulate on two nobles. They will be populated in here. Uh, you can make babies. I wouldn't make more than 10,000. It will take some time um, to make babies. See the stats and you can keep making 100 at a time or 10,000 at a time is as high as I would go. And it will keep adding them to the result here. Um, and you can see your breakdown percentage. So summary of 100 babies because I clicked it seven times. Obviously, delete babies, clears what you've done. And then if you want to, you can record your um, actual results from in-game. Um, these are couples that I've recorded before. Um, so if I do current selected, that is showing me these two nobles. So if I made a new pair and I want to start recording for them, I click simulate on both of them. I go here, record baby. And then you can go in and put in you know how many of each trait it inherited and then you can submit it you've got a table down here below um, if you want to see your results and noble marketplace if there were nobles uploaded okay well here's one um, this this is from here when you when you upload something um, well I could show you so if I go here I click upload so now it's uploaded as a show off um, and I go back to the noble marketplace let me load this in again and there's a noble uploaded and this allows people to import the noble um, I could click import here it would add it to my nobles list as like a copy um, your armies this will let you change the level of your nobles um, so there's one for each one of your nobles, you can go in here. I can change this to level 80. I will see all the stuff unlocked for level 80. I can go in here to the banner. I can go in here, change my champion. Doop, doop, um, etc. You can go in here and change your units. And what this will let you do is save different army configurations. Like say you are doing red tusks and you want to save it before you destroy that army. Uh, you can save configuration. Um, red tusk. Save it. Make this level 80. Load config. And you can also do your Discord share here. And this will share that army configuration to a Discord channel. Oops, I just showed that to someone's. Okay. So you could save your own configurations, load them in, share them with Discord if you'd like. Trading calculator. Uh, you get a noble in here from the noble tab. You click, get out of here. You click trade. Tools. Uh, we have enable tips here. Uh, this will enable this floating guy. And depending what tab you're on, it will give you sort of instructions um, on what to do. You can hide it by clicking don't show again. Um, here we have Discord webhook management. You can delete them or add new webhooks. Uh, you get this webhook by doing this. If 
follow those steps to get a webhook from your Discord server. Add it here. And you can share Noble's Army Configurations Discord. Here you can back up your data. Um, and this will back up pretty much everything. Um, everything that's persisting in your app, like if you can leave this app and come back, your Noble's, everything should be there already. But here you can just do a backup. Say you wanted to load it into a different browser or you wanted to load it into your phone. This will just download a essentially a text file with a dot parrot six extension, but it's a, just a text file, and then you can just load it in here um, and it will essentially import all your nobles, army configurations, everything into there. Uh, here you can update your name. This is the name associated with up loading nobles and here is your shard uh, you can type in anything you want here um, but no one's gonna find your stuff if you type in something that doesn't exist uh, you can choose from the list here these are the shards at least that I know about um, and then these are just my social links here